All right, let's show what um, AFib with RVR looks like on an EKG and compare it to normal sinus rhythm. All right, here are some rhythms, y'all. We got normal sinus, AFib, and AFib with RVR. Normal sinus, P, Q, R, S, P, Q, R, S, P, Q, R, S, we love it. We have a regular rhythm. We have our ventricles and our atria, so contracting and, rel and relaxing, and we're getting blood everywhere, and it's wonderful, right? But with my AFib, notice I've got this pattern here that is not full, beautiful P wave contraction, right? It's quivering. It's quivering because I've got all these excited cells up here that are not, you know, eliciting a good, strong, full contraction. They're just like, here's just a little one, just a little one. Not a, not a good contraction to squeeze all the blood out and relax fully to fill back up. No, none of that. That's just too much for this heart right now. And that's what AFib is. Now we notice we don't have regular R to R. This AFib is always in irregular rhythm because this AV node is just letting some, just letting some of those, um, QRS um, impulses through, all right? Just some of those. Now with AFib with RVR, let me see if you can see. The difference really is in, um, the, is in the heart rate. It's a higher heart rate. And we're, you're in the hospital and it's an emergency situation or urgency situation. Um, your heart rate's 160, 170, technically anything over 100, but really we're, when we're seeing someone flip into AFib with RVR, it's, you're seeing a pretty high heart rate, 150, 60, 70 kind of situation. That is a, let me get a steady KG, and y'all, here's a tip, if you're a newer nurse, most patients in a hospital will have a standing order to get an EKG, a stat EKG with any rhythm changes. So you can do that before you call the physician. And in my time management, if I'm noticing this and the patient is stable, but I'm seeing this on the monitor, I'm gonna get a manual blood pressure because y'all, those blood pressure machines don't adequately read the heart rate or their blood pressure correctly when the heart is beating like all weird like this. You gotta get a manual. So I would be looking at the chart for a couple other pieces of information that I spell out in my little free AFib with RVR class. And I would get this stat EKG and I would get what it says on the EKG, then I would call the doctor. And I'd be like, hey, there's an EKG in there. I think he's in AFib with RVR. Um, his blood pressure is this and then they can make a better, faster decision and you can look calm and amazing handling it. Common question, how do you know this is an SVT? Well, here's the thing. If the heart rate is 150, 160, 170, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference with your naked eye, okay? The P wave in SVT with a heart rate that's high is buried in the QRS, so it will be kind of indistinguishable on the monitor. So you gotta get that EKG. So if you want more tips, head to the link in my bio and sign up for my AFib with RVR class.